have you ever enjoyed a meal from a restaurant or anywhere and then you've moved away from that place and you just crave it and you really really want to recreate it then you give it a try and you nail it everything is perfect well that is the case of this Singapore noodles this turned out so good and I really hope you try this I know you will love it so here are the ingredients you need I have some chili flakes some white pepper some curry powder some soy sauce I have my scallions this is the green part I also have the tips of the white part I'm going to use that in the beginning so I separated them I have some grated garlic I also have some grated ginger sliced red onion I'm using red onion just because I want the color I have some green and red bell peppers also sliced or julienne my shrimp and some chicken thighs already cut up and of course you need some rice noodles or rice vermicelli so these simple ingredients let's get started I'm going to marinate my chicken so I have here some salt I'm also going to add here some of my white pepper pretty much about three quarters of the total that I have I'm also going to add in here some garlic this is grated you can mince it if that's what you want I just wanted the easy and quick way out I have some grated ginger as well on here and I'm just going to set that aside and do the same with my shrimp first before I mix everything up so some salt on my shrimp I'm also going to add the rest of my white pepper and then just wrap this on make sure that everything is coated on my shrimp and I'll do likewise to my chicken I'll also be adding two eggs to my noodles so I'm going to crack them and I'm going to season with some salt and set it aside for when I'm ready to use it. Have some water here it has boiled already and this is what I'm going to use to cook my uh, noodles I'm actually going to let it sit in the hot water I've turned off the, the heat so it's just sitting in hot water and I'm just going to cover this for seven minutes this is going to help soften my noodles It's going to get cooked because the water is already boiled and this is so light you don't want to cook your noodles too much or like actually cook it if you cook it pretty much follow the instructions on the package otherwise you are going to have it all mushy and you, it won't be perfect in your stir fry or your noodles recipe it's been about seven minutes my noodles have really softened up just like it would be if I had actually boiled it and I'm going to go ahead and strain it so I'm going to get the hot water off it first and then I'm running some cold water on it this is going to ensure that uh, the starches do not still work and then your noodles will end up just stuck to each other so some cold water over it is going to help with that I'm also going to add some oil I'm actually going to be making this with some peanut oil peanut oil in this recipe is just perfect and so I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of that on here so our noodles don't stick together and now I'm going to give this a toss to make sure that the oil is well mixed up on all my noodles just like that let's set this aside and continue with the process my wok is already heated I'm going to add about two teaspoons of uh, peanut oil in here add in my seasoned chicken thighs and I'm going to cook it on one side for about four and a half to five minutes just so it gets a beautiful caramelized brown color you don't want it to just be like you stir fried it I want it to be almost like it's fried it has that beautiful golden sear on it just like this and the only way you can get it is to let it cook undisturbed for about four to five minutes 
So I'm going to flip them individually so the top part get to cook as well. And this will pretty much take about three minutes or four minutes to cook through. So I'm, I'm done doing that, but I'm also going to push it aside because I intend to cook the shrimp on that side. So I push them aside and it's still going to get a chance to cook through. But here's the shrimp on one side. Shrimp doesn't take too long to cook. So by the time the shrimp is done being cooked, the chicken will be all the way cooked through as well. The shrimp has cooked in here for about three minutes. It's turning pink already and appearing on the surface as well. So I'm flipping them so the top part gets to cook through as well. Years ago when I lived in Pennsylvania, we used to order meals at work every now and then. And especially when I was pregnant with my daughter, I just couldn't eat anything that I made myself. And this thing of poor noodles from a restaurant close to our job was my favorite thing ever to have. It was spicy and we would always order an, a side order of chili oil as well. And it was just perfect. The balance between all the spices, you could actually smell and taste the curry, which didn't occur to me for a long time because I tried to make this several times. It just didn't taste like that until I added the curry because I could really remember the hints of curry and this was so so good anyway our shrimp is almost ready this has cooked on this side for about two and a half minutes I'm just going to stir it so everything just cooks all the way together just like that and now let this just stir it and let it be for about one minute and this is done ready to come out so we continue with the process In the same wok, I'm going to cook my eggs. I added just a little bit of oil in here and to that I added my eggs and I'm going to just scramble this right now just like that. You only need about a minute to get your eggs beautifully cooked or scrambled just like this. You want it to be fluffy and a little bit moist. You don't want it to get you know hard and and just dry. So at this point this is just good. I'm going to just scoop it out and add it to my shrimp and chicken. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of peanut oil in my wok. To that I'm adding the white parts of my scallions and I'm going to let it cook in here for about 45 seconds to a minute and then I'm going to add in here my curry powder you don't want the curry to be in the oil for too long otherwise it's going to burn so I'm just quickly stirring it and I'm going to also add in here my grated garlic and ginger pretty fast they have a little bit of moisture in here so that is going to help uh, prevent this from frying whilst we get the curry to work up its fragrance and flavors just like that so in goes our ginger and I'm going to stir this and give it about a half a minute for everything to work out their fragrances together so that this noodles is going to end up very very fragrant. So my oil at this point has been absorbed by my ingredients so I've added in here about an extra two teaspoons of oil in here. Remember the noodles has a little bit of oil on it so you don't want to overdo this. I've also added my chili flakes. I think this could have been spicier but I wanted my kids to enjoy it and so this is perfect for me if you're eating it on your own make it a little bit spicier because like I said what I really liked back in the day in that restaurant was super spicy. So anyway I've added here my peppers. And I'm going to be stirring it around for about a minute to get a little bit softened before I add in my onions. So in goes my red onions at this point and I'm going to stir that also quickly. That I'm not, you know for sure, I'm not going to let it get all the way cooked because I still want the crunch and the color. And at this point I'm going to add in here my meats and my eggs. So my shrimp, chicken and eggs coming back right in here. There we go. The aroma and the flavors at this point are very familiar. I feel like I just transported myself 
down memory lane this is so good already i just can't wait to sit down and dig in with my family i really really hope you give this a try you're really not going to regret it if there's going to be any regret it will be the fact that you can't stay away from it and you'll probably be making it very very frequently and maybe that is what is not going to be so good <laughs> anyway so i've added in here my noodles at this point yes and because of all that i did to ensure that it didn't stick together it didn't stick together look at how gorgeous this is of course at this point you're going to require two uh, spoons or two spatulas to help you to stir this make sure that everything is well combined and my spoon is not helping so i switched one of them i got two spatulas that's going to help me make sure that everything is beautifully mixed up look at that yes the white is slowly turning it is picking up all that colors from the curry and the juices from the chicken and the shrimp and the egg and everything the peppers and at this point i'm adding in here my soy sauce stir this around until everything is beautifully coated with the soy sauce so you get a beautiful color for your noodles and that is how simple this is i'm going to add my scallions at the end of it all because i always like that onion to be a little bit crunchy the color to be richer so you have the beautiful pop of green in your noodles and that is pretty much all there is to this recipe this is so simple but so good this is like a straight up 30 minutes meal you can come home from work on a busy day you come home and you have some shrimp toward or you just bought some shrimp you have some chicken thighs or whatever part of the chicken even chicken breast this is so easy to whip up very very delicious everybody is going to enjoy it it's going to be so much worth your time so i've added my scallions now i'm going to just quickly toss that and just like that this is done i'm going to turn off the flame so it doesn't cook all the way through and this is ready to serve how simple please try this send me pictures on instagram comment here let me know how you found it let me know if this is any way close to the your favorite singapore noodles that you ever had anywhere for me this was it the only thing missing was some chili oil but it was good and there we have it dear friends and family are uh, absolutely delightful and delicious singapore noodles this was so good just look at the colors just look at how this is popping this was so good this is like fine dining as i would always say in the comfort of your home at a price you simply cannot beat this is the kind of recipe you are going to create and you just feel like a star you feel like a top chef okay my kids enjoy it i got lots of thumbs up i got lots of oohs and ahs and mommy you're the best Yes, that is what we live for. So try this and let me know how it was for you and yours. Did you see my little boy? He was already busy digging in. Thank God we said our prayer before because they're not waiting for mommy and daddy to get this video to their aunties and uncles and cousins and friends. Okay, they just went right on into it busy and yes thumbs up for mommy yes my day is made i hope you try this if this is your first time watching me my name is kwan chua and making simple replicable family meals is what truly makes my heart happy and i hope you subscribe to my channel for more of such content this is very good i really hope you're able to try it i know you will love it thanks for watching please like and share this video and until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.